Hey folks, this is Riker with a Dota 2 modding tutorial on how to create your first map. If you need to know how to install the mod tools, click on this video link here. Today's tutorial will cover the basics of creating your first map, specifically with regards to creating the terrain, elevation, water, ramps, objects, trees, etc. and being able to actually try out this map in-game. Start by loading up your mod tools. You'll find them in Steam in your library under Tools. Right click and play game. Click on Create Empty Add-on and type in whatever name you want to give your map. Hit Create and it will then load up Dota 2 as well as the editor. You need to have Dota 2 running for the mod tools to work. Simply have that run in the background and minimize it. So click on Launch Dota 2 Workshop Tools and the editor will boot up along with the game. With the tools loaded, click on this hammer icon in the asset browser. That's going to load Hammer, which is the map editor itself. Inside Hammer, click File New. Once inside Hammer, locate on the bottom left of the main toolbar the Terrain button. You'll be prompted to create a grid and click Yes. That'll load in some basic terrain and after that you'll want to go to the Prefabs menu, select basic underscore entities dot vmap and just drag that out onto the 3D field. Adding the basic entities allows you to load into this map in game. Now would also be a good time to save our map. Go File, Save, give it any random name. And now we can start editing our terrain. Go back to that bottom button on the toolbar on the left and you'll see the Paint Terrain option is highlighted. Now within the 3D view, scrolling allows you to zoom. WASD allows you to move around. W and S is zoom as well. A and D is panning left and right or strafing. And if you hold down right click and move around, that allows you to look around. So we can actually get right up in this guy's face, see that he actually is Gordon Freeman, a Gordon Freeman dummy. So we're gonna zoom out. And now again, with this Paint Terrain tool selected, we're going to make a nice ring around our starting area. Hold down left click and drag to paint upward and to paint downward. Hold down control and then left click. And of course, if you stack terrain on top of terrain, that's going to keep building up. Make some nice mountains over there and some very deep troughs over here. Down and down and down that goes. All right. Now click on the water button to paint some water. Let's make a little, little pond over here. Also for any of these paintbrushes, if you hold down your middle mouse button and drag either in any direction, you'll see that you can increase or decrease the radius of the paintbrush. I'm not entirely satisfied with those mountains just yet, so I'm going to add some more to block off the area. Make it a nice mountainous looking region. And then comes the fun of ramps, or a path. So click on the Paint Path tool, and you'll see that, depending on where you're clicking, it's going to add a nice staircase, allowing you to actually climb up and down the various elevations. So we're going to make a nice path all the way up to the top. There we go. And we can even make a path through the water. And let's put it up there. And 
And oops, I accidentally removed the water. So let's just control Z that to undo. And it's still removing the water, but it's okay. It's keeping enough, keeping just enough of it to make it decorate it. All right, that's looking pretty neat. Let's add some trees now. Simple and straightforward, you just paint them on. Because what are mountains without trees, really? And then we'll even paint in some plants, vegetation. All right, this is looking nice and lush. Lastly, you can paint in some objects. Now you can use this pull down here for prop type and select, let's say, a statue. We'll add that right here. And let's say we're not quite satisfied with the positioning of the statue. Hover your mouse over the blue square left click and then drag it around to move it let's put it closer to the steps and if you hold down x as you also hold down left click you could rotate the object so let's align that burning brazier yeah that's looking all right now we're going to save again just to make sure we don't lose our wonderful looking map that we've been making and now, what good is this lovely map if we can't actually play in it? So we're going to click on this button up here to toggle the grid. This is going to visually depict what areas are traversable and which aren't. Green squares are places where you can walk. Red are places where you can't. And purple are places where you can cut down the trees, destroy the trees in the way. So let's see, can we get... Yeah, we can get a path up here and all the way up to this nice little overlook. All right, now let's test out this map, see how it looks in game. Go ahead and hit F9. Under Load Map in Engine here, you're going to click on Create Minimap on Load. Then click on Build. And it's going to take a little while to compile the map, but then after it's going to load you in game. Choose your hero. Axe here! And that about covers it. So, congratulations on starting up your first map. With this knowledge, you can now start to create something pretty looking, start working on your designs. Dire victory! Yeah, so as you can see, we go straight to dire victory because we didn't program in what's necessary to make this, this day belongs work. to Axe. I'm talking, buddy. What's actually working uh, as a functional Dota map? Now you can make custom game modes with this, which is really cool. But uh, in our next tutorial, in our next tutorial rather, we're gonna look at how to create a functioning Dota style map. So you can take this nice layout and actually play Dota on it. Obviously, this map that we designed is not, <laughs> not the kind of map you'd want to play a match of Dota on, but we can expand it, we can make it bigger, and uh, we'll show you how to do that so that you can start playing Dota 2 in your custom map. Leave a comment letting me know what tutorials you would like to see in the future, and until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.